Hey Diva Nation, today's episode we're filling in Cleveland's Beer Fest and I'm so excited. Mrs. Stoutfire joins me as we drink our way around the ballpark and helps me rank six beers from around the country. Test your beer knowledge with my quiz and so much more. Stay tuned! Welcome to the Beer Diva Show, where wine is dumb and the craft beer world has taken over the dull American beer scene once and for all. I'm your host, Dr. Brewski, and later in the show, we are traveling up north a little ways to Cleveland, Ohio for their beer fest. And Mrs. Stoutfire joins me as we rank a few of the beers that we found from across this great nation. We're gonna get started with my favorite part of the show, beer reviews. It's beer review time. Hey everybody, Diva Nation. We're here at Progressive Field in Cleveland, Ohio at the Beer Fest. We have not had a Beer Fest for the past two years. So you know the Beer Divas got to bring it. These are our first two beers. Welcome to Mrs. Stoutfire. Woo woo! All right, so we started off with a brewery called Little Fish. I don't know where they're from, but we'll look that up and put it in the show notes. Little fish, so what I started out with is a wheat sour, a sour wheat ale, and it's a uh, raspberry, and it's called Summer Crumble. The ABV on it is 4.0. Here we go. Woo, it is tart. It kind of tastes like a pie, like a raspberry pie. Got a little cinnamon in there, a nutmeg that, or something. Yeah. My review for the Summer Crumble Raspberry Wheat Ale is 9.1. Oh yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. Gosh, cheers, girl. All right, what do you have, Mrs. Stoutfire? All right, I also have uh, a Farmhouse Amber Ale from Little Fish Brewing, which, again, she said they're not sure where they're from. We'll Put it in the notes. Uh, it's 6.5% um, ABV, but it's a little dangerous because it doesn't taste that strong. It so. doesn't, but it has a very deep, rich uh, malt flavor to it. If you like a farmhouse ale, you get it. Yeah. What's your review of the, what is it called? Uh, wood, wood Brush. Wood Brush. <laughs> Amber Dr. Ale. Dr. Brucey, is... always thinking about teeth, you know. Uh, <laughs> my review is 8.7. 8.7. All right, we're going to go around the block here, and we'll be back with more reviews. Stay tuned. All right, hey, we're back. Hi. All right, I got a microphone so you won't hear as much of the noise, right? Hey, we found Saga Talk, which is where? In Michigan. In Michigan, and we had already did their uh, lemonade blueberry. blueberry. In a previous show, so you can guys can uh, check that out in a previous show, and it was delicious. This time we have a stout. Yeah, Neapolitan stout. Neapolitan stout. So think of your grandmother's house, and she whips out the Neapolitan ice cream. Yeah, at your birthday party, that big tub, and you're like, I'll just take one sliver of the chocolate. The tub of ice cream. So uh, right away, I mean, this is 6.0 ABV. Right away, I mean, it is just black tar. It's so good. It is so good. Okay, let's taste it. Mm. It tastes like a melted Neapolitan get, thing of ice cream. I get all three flavors, chocolate, vanilla, strawberry, right off the yeah. rip. 
you get the creaminess because it's a stout, but you also get a little bit of fruit hints. I was surprised because it said it had 37 IBUs, the bitterness units, but yeah. I am not getting any bitter at it's all. It's not very, I, I think it's very creamy. It's now, very it is creamy. a milk stout, so it has lactose added. Yeah. That's, yep. Um, so that gives it the cream factor. Um, so my rating for the Neapolitan stout is 8.8. .8. It is delicious. My review... This is, you guys, I'm giving this a 10. Woo! Highest rating ever. <laughs> I love this. I, I know, need this, this in my great. life. I want to put a scoop of ice cream in it. and You could make a milkshake out of this oh, so easily. Beer float. Beer float. Beer float. You could totally do that with some ice, with, with uh, a little vanilla. Yes. Oh, be or Neapolitan would even enhance it. Round it all out. Woo-wee. All right. We're going to go uh, explore some more. Stay tuned. All right, we are back, and we've got a little lemon shandy from Market Garden in Cleveland. Yes, ma'am. This stuff is one of my favorite summertime beers. I always have it on tap at my house. Do you guys have it at Zubs? Always. I'll tell you, it's one of my favorites because it is a little sweeter. You know, think of a, I mean, they, they do put soda in it. So think of a, lamb, a lemon shandy that has a little bit of soda. So if you've been to Germany, that's what they do. They call it a rattler, and they, they add Sprite to it. So it, it is sweet, yeah. but it's light. And you need a little sugar in the summertime to keep, keep you going. Exactly. So this is a really good time, uh, summertime beer. It's a go-to. Um, this is Southfire. Your rating for the Market Garden Lemon Shandy is? 9.2. 9.2. My rating for the Market Garden Lemon Shandy is? 9.4. One of my favorites. It is sweet. It is lemony. It is light. Not a lot of uh, tartness at all or bitterness from the hops. If you love a shandy, to me it's one of the perfect shandies. It's grown up Sprite. It's grown up Sprite. <laughs> All right, stay tuned. We're going to bring more from Progressive Field. Bye bye! What it says it is. All right, we are back and we are trying the High Wire Pink Lemonade Session Sour Ale. Out of Asheville, North Carolina. North Carolina Tar Heels. Woo -woo! I don't know them. I know. I, I like them. I like basketball. <laughs> so anyway, really pink. I mean, it is pink lemonade. Look at that. But for grown-ups. For grown-ups. Are we grown-up? I don't know. They, they ID'd me. They said I was. I... She passed the test. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's taste it. The ABV on this is 4.2%. Correct. Uh, so, Mrs. Stoutfire, ooh, it's tart. Your review of the High Wire Pink Lemonade Session Sour Ale is? 7.8. 7.8. Boy, that's low. You don't like it as much as the other one? It's, All right. Yeah. It, it's just... Um, it does. It is like leaves a dry taste in your mouth. It's very dry, almost like a bubbles. Like it's dry. It's like fizzy lemons. Fizzy lemons. All right, my review of the High Wire Pink Lemonade Session Sour Ale is. I'll go eight point two. I kind of like it. I like the sours. I can't help it. I like sours too, but I've you know it's good. It's okay. <laughs> Pinky's up. 
Pinky sub, drink up, biatches. <sighs> Stay tuned, we're doing more rounds. All right, I'm snacking on pretzels here. And we have a uh, guest here. Yeah, drinking the uh, Purple Haze uh, Bita. It's uh, really good. Very Love tasty. the Purple Haze. Did you try, try the strawberry one? I didn't yet. I Please. Didn't it is just like the Purple Haze, except it's strawberry, very light. Tutti fruitier. Tutti fruitier. All right, what are we drinking, Mrs. Stoutfire? We are drinking the Cream Sea Kolsch from Land Grant Brewery. They're in Columbus, right? We're going to hook up with them and maybe do a Beer Diva show. What is your drinking name? I, I don't, I don't We're know. here with Lady Pretzel, and she's got, look at these cool pretzel necklaces. She's sharing with us because we are getting it on tonight. We need pretzel necklaces. I, I didn't even think of doing that. I did do the t-shirt, Teddy Roosevelt, right? So I did do that. Very nice. Okay, uh, Mrs. Right. Stoutfire, what is your rating for the Cream Sickle Kolsch? I'm gonna go 8.6. 8.6. And my rating for the Cream Sickle Kolsch is? 8.6. Same thing. It is delicious and I can't wait to go to Columbus in a couple weeks. We're going to hit Meredith up. Look at how light that is. It tastes like a creamsicle. You should go right here in that red uh, right, thing. I'm empty. I'm going to go get a refill of it. Alright. Uh, Lady Pretzel is going to the tent and getting Love herself it. a creamsicle. Yeah. Alright. Next up Beer quiz. It's quiz time, quiz time, quiz time, quiz time. All right, we're back for beer quiz. Question number one. How many versions of Guinness are there? Is it A, one? Is it B, five? Or is it C, 19? And the answer is C, 19. There are 19 different versions all across the world of Guinness. And there's different types of flavors. There's different strengths of alcohol content. Uh, so sometimes you have a blonde Guinness. Sometimes you have an extra stout Guinness. It just depends on where you are around the world and you know what you're in the mood for. So make sure when you're looking at the menu, if you find a different type of Guinness, try it and see what it's like, right? And compare the two. Question number two, what type of glass should stouts and barley wines be consumed in? Is it A, the chalice? Is it B, the pint? Or is it C, the stein? And the answer is, a, the chalice. So the chalice cups are kind of shaped like my diva mug here, where they have a wider upper rim. And what that does is because they're stronger beers, that type of beer will then flow to different parts of our tongue where the taste buds are located that you want to pick up, right? So remember the different areas of the tongue, right? You've got sweet, which is the tip of the tongue. You've got salty, which is the front and on the side of the tongue. You've got sour, which is behind those. And then clear in the back is your bitter. So the more bitter something is, you want it to hit a certain type of spot on the tongue so that those taste buds are triggered and that flavor comes out and that's the same with beer as it goes with wine and champagne you want them hitting the tongue in a certain area so you can uh, savor that flavor that comes from that particular beverage all right question number three beer contains which vitamin is it a a vitamin is it B, vitamin B, or is it C, vitamin C? And the answer is 
It's vitamin B. It contains B1, B2, B6, and B7. So B1 and B2 helps cells convert food into energy. B6 helps strengthen our immune system. And B7 helps with metabolizing fats, carbs, and proteins. So like we've said on this show before, beer really is good for you, of course in moderation, but it does contain different vitamins and minerals that help our bodies stay healthy. So that's it for the show. Thank you, Mrs. Stoutfire, for joining me up at Cleveland's Beer Fest so we could try all kinds of beverages from different breweries that we had never even heard of or gotten to experience before. So thanks a lot for uh, to Cleveland for hosting that beer fest for us. Make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification so you don't miss anything. Go out today and enjoy a tasty multi beverage with one of your friends. Why? Because you deserve it. And remember, don't worry, be happy. <laughs>